cubic function. The general form of cubic function is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. If the function is fx equal to ax cubed and a greater than 0, the intercept what exists at 0, 0. And from the left to the right, the graph is increasing. And if fx equal to ax cubed plus d and a less than 0, the intercept y exists at d and from the left to the right, the graph is decreasing. The domain of the both function are negative infinity to infinity and the range of the both function also from negative infinity to infinity. For this cubic function, given fx equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d and a less than 0, that means a is negative, the graph is intercept y exists at d, the constant value of the function and you should try to find the intercept x exists when fx equal to 0. And from the left to the right, the graph is decreasing. And if fx equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d and a greater than 0, the graph is intercept what exists at d and find the intercept x exists. And from the left to the right, the graph is increasing. Therefore, the domain of the both functions are from negative infinity to infinity. And the range of the both function also from negative infinity to infinity. For example, 5.5, sketch the graph of the following functions and find its domain and range given fx equal to x cubed plus 3. Now, we can sketch the graph cubic. The graph intercept y exists at 3. And from the left to the right, the graph is increasing because a greater than 0. And label the function. The domain of the function is from negative infinity to infinity and the range of this function is from negative infinity to infinity. For example, 5.5 question B given fx equal to negative 2x cubed. That means the value of A is less than 0. Now, we can sketch the graph cubic. Intercept y exists at 0 and the graph from the left to the right is decreasing. And label this function fx equal to negative 2x cubed. Therefore, the domain of this function is from negative infinity to infinity and the range of this function also from negative infinity to infinity. For question C, given fx equal to x squared times 2 minus x, we can write fx equal to negative x cubed plus 2x squared when we expand this function and a less than 0. A is negative. The graph is intercept y exists at 0. And find the intercept x exists. Okay. 
when fx equal to 0, x squared times 2 minus x equal to 0, x equal to 0 and x equal to 2. And from the left to the right, the graph is decreasing. You can sketch the graph cubic at 0 and 2. From the left to the right is decreasing. So, we can try to sketch the graph cubic and label this function fx. Therefore, the domain of this function is from negative infinity to infinity and the range of this graph is also from negative infinity to infinity. For question D, given fx equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 6x plus 2. From this function, a is greater than 0 and d equal to 2. That means the graph intercept y exists at 2. How to find the graph intercept x exists? x cubed minus x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0. By using calculator, we find the value of x1 equal to negative 2.2, x2 0.3 and x3 2.9. From the left to the right, the graph is increasing. Try to sketch the graph cubic. Intercept y exists at 2 and intercept x exists at negative 2.2, 0.3 and 2.9. From the left to the right, the graph is increasing. Left increasing and the right is increasing. And try to sketch the smooth graph. And label the graph fx. Therefore, the domain of this function is from negative infinity to infinity. And the range of this graph is from negative infinity to infinity. Final for the lecture 1, given you exercise. The question is, sketch the graph of the following functions, hence state the domain and range. Given question A, fx equal to negative 7 over 3. Question B, fx equal to 2x plus 5. And question C, fx equal to negative x squared plus 2x minus 1. You can try this question and you can discuss with your lecturer. Okay. Thank you.